In the second part of our Creating Data Visual series, we'll explore scatter, funnel, waterfall, table, matrix table, map, and tree map charts. In the first part of this series, we have covered how to create bar charts, pie charts, line charts, card visuals, and multi-row card visuals. Also, don't forget to watch our Power Query series to learn how to prepare your data before making these visuals. Creating clear and effective visuals is key to presenting your data meaningfully. Select the scatter chart. Drag the sales in x-axis. Drag the profit in y-axis. And the order ID field into values. Each bubble represents an order. The plot shows the relationship between sales and profit. The trend suggests that as sales increase, profit also tends to increase, but there are notable outliers with high sales and either exceptionally high or low profits. If we put the quantity into size, The size of each bubble indicates the amount of quantity per order. Again, if we put the category field into legend, each point will be coded by category. The distribution suggests a correlation between sales and profit and point size variation reveals differences in quantity sold across different categories. Now, select the funnel chart from the third row. Drag the order date in category and the profit field in values. The funnel chart shows the growth of profit over the four-year period from 2011 to 2014. The length of each bar represents the profit amount. Here 2011 is considered as the base year. If we hover over each bar, the tooltip will show the percentage of profit from the base year and the previous year. In the last year 2014, we can see the profit is 202.5% from the base year 2011. The chart visually and quantitatively demonstrates growth in profit over time. Go for the waterfall chart. Drag the order date field into category. The sales field into y-axis. The waterfall chart shows the amount of sales by year, tracking the changes over the period from 2011 to 2014. Each column represents the annual sales, showing how sales have increased or decreased from one year to the next. The final bar labeled total aggregates the total sales over the four-year period. The chart is useful for understanding how individual years contributed to the total growth or decline in sales. From the fifth row of the Build Visual panel, select the Table Visual. While selecting, check mark on Category, Country, City, Market, Order Date, Order ID, Profit, Quantity, and Sales. The table organizes and displays data in a structured format. 
It shows detailed records of sales across various cities and countries, segmented by market and order date. The table also includes individual transactions with associated order IDs, profit, quantity, and sales. The final row aggregates the total profit, quantity, and sales. Select the matrix table. The matrix visual works very similar to the Excel pivot table. Drag the category field in the rows and the order priority in the columns. We can see all the elements of the category column created new rows, while the elements of the order priority created new columns for each. Drag the profit field and drop it into the values. The matrix table organizes the profit data into a grid format and allows for multidimensional analysis. It displays the profits by category and order priority. It also provides subtotals as well as an overall total. Now, put the sales field in values. This table facilitates an easy comparison between sales and profit data in a grid format by category and order priority. Again, if we put the segment in rows, just below the category field, and then right-click on the category column, expand, and click on all. We can see a breakdown of segment for profits in each category. Similarly, if we put the segment in columns, just below the order priority field, and then right-click on the column headers, click on the expand to next level. We can see the breakdown of segment in the case of each order priority. The matrix table effectively summarizes the data in multidimensional rows and columns. Select the map visual. Drag the country field into location box. Put the profit column into bubble size. The visual depicts the sum of profit by country. Each bubble size represents the relative profit amount for its respective country, allowing for a quick comparison of profitability across different global regions. If we put city instead of country, the bubble size will represent the relative profit amount for respective cities. Select the tree map. Drag the region field into category. and the sales field into values. The visual displays the sum of sales by region. Each block represents a region, with the size of the block corresponding to the region's total sales. Larger blocks signify regions with higher sales volumes, allowing for easy comparison between the different regions' performance. As we wrap up our Creating Data Visuals series, we've covered almost all basic charts enhancing your data visualization capabilities. Stay tuned for more techniques to elevate your Power BI skills. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon, so you don't miss out on our upcoming tutorials. Thank you for watching.